Spade back here with you, High Noon Leatherworks, for another leather adventure. And today, we're going to continue the series on making a shoulder rig holster for this Black Powder 44. Last episode, we made the pattern for the actual holster. If you missed that, go check that out. And today, we're actually going to make the shoulder section pattern. So, come on in, let's get started. Alright, so what I have here is uh, a piece of poster board that actually I have left from doing the uh, holster pattern. So that's what we're going to start out with. Uh, I'm sure we'll have to tweak it a little bit. Um, I've only made one other shoulder rig so far, and it was for a uh, Thompson Contender with a scope on it. So it was huge. Uh, it was a 35 Remington Thompson Contender. So, long, long barrel, had a scope on it, so it, it was a big uh, shoulder rig. But, um, I learned a lot from making that one. So, uh, again, just like making the pattern for the actual holster itself, it's a little trial and error. Um, so, once I get this pattern made and get it tweaked to where I want it, I'm probably going to make sure I keep this pattern uh, so that if I make shoulder rigs in the future, I can use this part. Now, the holster is going to change depending on the gun itself, but I can use this part for the shoulder harness. So, first thing I want to do is I'm just going to use this radius that I've already got in here from cutting out the holster material. And I'm going to place this on my shoulder and wrap it around and let me see if I can back out here wrong way let me back out here and, and you can see how that wraps around underneath my arm there and it it lays fairly decent back here on my shoulder and my back now paper is not going to lay as nice as, as leather is going to lay, obviously, but it still gives me a good idea. So um, I think, I'll look under here, it looks to me like it may be a little short on this one end. So I'm, I'm going to have to look at that and see. But as far as the inside, I think I'm going to cut everything out of the inside that I need to. That will give me more room here into my armpit area. Because this right here is very comfortable on this side. This side is a little tight. So let's look at this. Double check again. I'll put it back on wrap it around and it never hurts to double triple check your material and I'm gonna make a mark up here on my shoulder I just make a little X there as to where it actually fits on my shoulder I just made a little X right there Take that excess material out of the inside where that was going around my armpit in like that. But I want to follow that same curve because that same curve seems to be pretty close. So let me mark the outside here so I 
I might cut this part off. And then I, I want to make sure that I uh, follow this curve as I go down. Um, and just like on the last video, I can use some of these things I have laying around that I've kept to make my radiuses. And I, I do have a set of French curves that, that work fine too, but these things just seem so simple and quick. So I want to follow that up and make that about, I think, two inches. About halfway up to the shoulder. So I'm going to follow that down at two inches. So I'm making a mark and just moving it down two inches. And then all I'm going to do is connect those dots that I made. And I'm just freehanding this at this point. And then I'm halfway up. I came halfway up. So what I want to do is start, let's see, I'm, I need to take that material out of the center. So that material is going to be gone. So what I want to do is make another radius on the other side because I'm taking my material out of the inside not the outside and that looks like about two and well, about two and a quarter actually So we'll come up two and a quarter off of that because I'm going to have to cut on both sides to actually get my pattern out of here. So I can connect those dotted lines. What that will do is that will give me my radius and my curve based off of that first line that I drew based off of this line that I drew, but this is the part that's going to get cut out. I'm going to use this part as my pattern. So I can start making this smaller as I come up. It was two inches. We'll go one and seven eighths. One and three quarters, one and a half, one and a quarter. So up here where my X was on the top of my shoulder, I'm down to only taking one inch of material off of this pattern right here. So that's one inch. I'm going to continue around at one inch. Then on this side, I'll do the same thing. I'll go to one and a 
border. And that'll start widening out again. So I'll continue drawing that line to where I'm connecting those dashed marks. And then when I get up here to about where I had my X, which is right here. I'm um, about one inch of material that I'm taking off there. Then it starts widening out again to one and an eighth, one and a quarter, one and a half, one and three quarters. So I start taking off more material again. So I'm going to cut that off and get that out of the way and see exactly how that looks and feels on the inside there before I go any further because if I mess this up I may have to start over with a new piece of poster board and I could end up in a lot of trial and error but I think so far I'm okay, but we'll find out. So we'll cut that piece out of there. Now I can put this back on, put that put that X mark that I put on there, put that right back in the same spot on top of my shoulder and then I can pull this around and that feels much better. It's not cutting into my uh, armpit. Now in the back it is back here but I haven't cut any of that yet. So, so far so good. I think I'm going to double check it one more time because I want to know where I'm going to be cutting this other side. It looks like, and I can take my pen and put a mark on there and that give me a good idea about where I need to cut that radius. So. I'm going to follow that radius that where I stopped and cut that off. I'm going to follow that around. To where I just made that mark. And it, yeah, it was a blind mark. Made it behind my back. But right where I could feel that cutting into my the back of my armpit. And I'll make that cut. Notice I'm doing this in small intervals. So I'm taking small pieces off. I don't, trust me, I've done it before. I don't, I don't want to get ahead of myself like I have in the past and I end up uh, having to start over making the pattern. Now that feels really good. You see the way it fits around my armpit, the way it fits on my shoulder, and it does come down and overlap here where I can get some stitching and hook my holster onto. So I'm going to hold that while I take that off. Actually, I need to finish cutting this side out over here. I'm 
run that line up. So I'm going to cut on the outside of the line now instead of the inside. And then I need to cut around the radius that I made. And it's so important to have a good sharp knife, no matter what kind of knife you like or prefer to use, whether it's an exacto or in this case I like using a utility knife with a good sharp blade. Now I can take this, put it back on, you can see I finished the radius on this piece and then I can fold that over and I can hold on to that, take it off and I can transfer that onto my other piece. And then what that does is that tells me where those two pieces can come together. So as I come down here, this piece needs to come this direction. And I can turn that pattern that little pattern maker I've got a little piece of plastic that I'm using to make my pattern I can turn it to where I get The right angle. So I need to take a straight edge, and that what that's going to do. I need to double check it again before I cut it. Is that's going to take a little bit more off under my armpit, which I can I can stand that on the back. And there's enough there that I can take off, and it, it's not going to make it uncomfortable. In fact, it'll make it more comfortable. I won't have any of that kind of pushing against my armpit, my underarm. Come around that radius there. And then on this side, I want to be real careful because I haven't completed my line yet of where I'm going for the top. So I want to be real careful not to cut too high on that line. I know I'm going to go that far. So I can cut this piece off and get it out of my way. You can see how now this is the other end. I can put that back on my shoulder, pull it around, and see how those two meet up right there. That's where the holster will go on. that holster will meet up right there with those two pieces and that feels very comfortable so now what I'm gonna have to do is figure out the top piece how far up am I gonna go to the very top 
And remember, I put that X on there so I, I know where that feels comfortable sitting. But how far am I going to go? And it feels like it's very comfortable on the back. So I may want to just leave that part and then just radius this off here, this big part up at the top, cut that off. I am going to take this sticker off that came on this poster board. It's got the barcode on it because that could hinder me a little bit if it's right in the cutting line. So I'll take that sticker off, throw it in the trash, or in my trash pile. Now, what I'm talking about is making this a radius instead of this being a sharp edge right here. And it kind of already does a little bit here. So basically it's right here on the back where it goes toward my shoulder blade is where it's going to have to start being on another radius. So all I'm going to do is feel back there where that's at and make a little mark with the pen. And yeah, it would help a lot if you had somebody, especially the person you were making it for, it'd be great if you had them actually here and you could use them to make your pattern. Um, so I'll go off of that mark and I'm going to make this approximately four and a half inches around the biggest part and then as I start coming down off of the shoulder again I'm going to start squeezing my radius back down so I can line it up with this end right here. That's the part that goes around my back or whoever goes around his back, not mine. So at this point I can take my straight edge and I think I'm safe to go ahead and see I've got the radius on here and then it squeezes down to the end. Now I'm going to put this back on again and take a look at it. And it feels fine. I want to make sure again that I'm real careful not to make cuts that I'm going to regret. So I'm going to make this next cut, which is a pretty big one. Then I'll try it again. So everything is one step, cut, try it on. Next step, cut, try it on. And that's how you make small tweaks on these patterns. so that you get everything to fit just perfectly. And again, you know, if you have trouble, then uh, you can always just stop and start it over. Get you another piece of poster board. Get two pieces for a dollar, I think, at Dollar Tree, so it's not that expensive. So this fits great up here now. You can see 
how I have plenty of room between my shoulder and the leather or the pattern and my neck and the pattern. These two pieces come together great down here. That's where the holster will go on. And if if I made this, if I'm and I'll probably have who I'm making this for, I'll probably have them actually come over and try this on before I go through uh, dyeing and all that. So uh, that way, if I need to make it a little longer, make these pieces longer, that's simple. I can uh, just tape another piece of poster board on here and here on this end and make those longer, no problem. So before I cut the leather even. So I may just dry fit this pattern to the person. So that is going to work great. All I need to do is mark on here. Shoulder. Holster rig. And then I can use this for any shoulder holster that I want to make from now on. There's the shoulder holster rig portion. And that'll attach here. You can see fits great up here. Fits nice and flat. The holster itself will also attach there. So now you can get an idea what this is going to look like. And as I said, it's a seven and a half inch barrel, and he's taller than I am, the guy I'm making this for. So it'd probably be about perfect for where he's going to need to wear this. So, so far, very happy with how this is turning out. Uh, I'll probably have him come over. I'll dry fit that uh, shoulder rig pattern to him. I may need to lengthen it a little bit since he's a little taller, but I think it's going to be just about right because of the length of the pistol with it being a seven and a half inch barrel. I think it'll sit just about right for him. So I appreciate you coming back, checking this out. Uh, next time you come back on the next episode, We'll, I'd say we'll probably be going ahead and uh, cutting the leather out for these two pieces and getting to that point. Uh, I don't want to go ahead with the other straps on the back yet until I figure this one out for sure, whether it's the right size for the guy I'm making it for. So uh, we'll probably be cutting these two pieces of leather out and moving on from there. So. Make sure you come back for that episode. That'll be next week. And I uh, appreciate you tuning in. Appreciate you watching. And like I always say, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.